Greetings. Welcome, soul friends and soul families. We are long overdue for another Keter Guidance reading. Today I am going to do a reading for my Virgos. Happy birthday, Virgos. Let's see. I think today what we'll do is we'll take a look at our single Virgos. We will check into um, who's on Virgo's mind or who has Virgo on their mind. And we're going to see just what you guys are thinking about one another. Maybe take a look into what you're going to do about it, huh? And after which, we'll take a look at our coupled Virgos. And maybe if we've still got enough time, we can go into a little bit of a finance reading for our Virgos, right? Okay, now you guys know that if you're watching me on YouTube, you look up in that top left corner and you can speed me up or slow me down, whichever you prefer. Here we go. We're going to dive right in and make it clap for the Virgos. Whoa. As you can see, these are well used cards. <laughs> well used. All right, single Virgos. You on my right and the object of your adoration on my left. All right, Virgos, let's see what's going on. Oh, that came out quickly. We've got the King of Swords in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse. Now that's you. Hmm. And yes, switching it up a bit. We're going to use a whole different deck for them. A different deck for them. One more time for good measure. Make it clap. All right. Let's go. Oh, hello there, my pretty. All right, so we've got the number 16 here. You guys know I can never remember all the numbers of these major arcana cards. If I remember correctly, that should be my tower card. Let's see, 18 is star, 13 is double. Yep, that's right. The number 16 is my tower card. All right, so we've got the tower card with my lovely Afro Brazilian tarot, and we've got the King of Swords with my Rider Waite Tarot. Okay, my holographic Rider Waite. All right, so, Fargo, I've got a sense here that you are no longer choosing to pine over someone. For some time, you seem to have been in your heads about them but you've decided not to anymore. You've decided to free your mind. Free your mind and the rest will follow. <laughs> so you're freeing your mind. Now them on the other hand, mm, the tower, the tower. So something's coming to an end for them and you're freeing your mind. What is that? What is it that they're letting go of? What is it that, or, or that's letting go of them, huh? What is it that's coming to an end for them? Got me some clarification cards here too, guys. Yeah, I'm all over the place. I'm just going to do what I want to do, how I want to do it. <laughs> Oops. Okay. A break. A break. I'm going to use a different deck for clarification today. So... What is it the object of your adoration is turning away from right now? The hermit. Hmm. So for a time they were they were within. They were figuring things out. 
they were make, uh, bringing some cycles to a close. And as they brought these cycles to a close, they, they maybe weren't so clear on what they needed to do, how they needed to do it. But lo and behold, all of a sudden, boom. Now, why do I get the impression that they were ready to bring this cycle to a close because you said, I'm not playing with you anymore. I'm not playing with you anymore. Yeah, you got tired of waiting around. It was bringing you down. Sitting there thinking about this person, always on your mind, and waiting for them to, to make a decision, to come on in. And as soon as you got finished playing their game, well, lo and behold, bada boom, bada bing, I think that made them realize just what was important to them and what they needed to do about it, huh? So, Virgo. Hmm. Battle of the Egos. Nothing too serious. All right, Virgos. So, you say, you know what? I'm going to leave you alone and let you figure it out. Because me waiting around on you is killing my vibe. Ooh. Well... I guess um, they started giving you a lot of good attention all of a sudden. <laughs> They're ready to come on in. And here I thought you were like, eh, never mind this whole debacle. I I'm done with this whole thing. But that's not exactly what happened here. You didn't come with that kind of energy. Oh, oh look at that judgment they couldn't make a decision that's what that's what had us caught up in this energy but they made that decision now they they uh, well no they didn't they didn't make it you made it for them you said i'm gonna have my happiness with or without you and they decided well they didn't like how that sounded they didn't like that without you part so much so they lit a little fire under them. They realized that you were their firecracker and they couldn't let you go. Virgo, that's not a Scorpio that you're dealing with over there, is it? A Scorpio? <laughs> a Scorpio, maybe. Ooh, maybe another Virgo. Yeesh. Oh, no, not a Virgo, but somebody that, that matches your Virgo energy. That matches your Virgo energy. Oh. Let's see. Hmm. You know what, Virgo? You got focused. You got focused. Let me just swap this around because I'm over here mirroring for what I don't know because I know I'm a left to right reader. <laughs> okay, so instead of hanging around and pining away over them, you realize that that was just really killing your vibe. You weren't going to let this kill your vibe. You said, I'm going, it's happiness or nothing for me. And you took the first step toward your happiness. And when you took, I mean, I feel, I feel ultimatum energy here. I feel ultimatum energy. You said, what's it going to be? The, <laughs> them or me or that or me or, you know, what it is. Choose your direction, honey, because I'm looking for my match. And I feel that they, they recognize that it was time to make some decisions here. Oh, got some. Let's see, is that Sag energy there? Nine of Cups. Look at that. They couldn't make a decision. 
they they realized uh, that they were about to well i mean they 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 seems like they realize that they're about to miss out on their the like the love of their life why are they so hesitant so hesitant to take the the, the next most obvious step Virgo? Ugh, clown clown they know they know where they want to be but i don't know this there's a big ending going on a big dramatic ending going on that that long since should have occurred it's a very difficult time for them but it's a wake-up call it's a wake-up call for them to get going it was a very necessary thing and i do believe that was you walking away it was you know it was divine intervention it was something that they needed to get them going and look at that we've got the sun over there major arcana we've got excuse me the tower over there major arcana and then the judgment card okay so definitely the energy of things that should have long since ended one two three four times over person should have got a move on but they just been sitting there stuck for what reason i don't know but we don't have time to play we don't have time to play around virgo we know what we want and we're going after it and if it ain't ready to want us when we want it well then i'll see you next time around okay because I'm ready for new beginnings in my life. I'm closing, I've closed out my old cycles and I'm ready to step into my joy and my happiness, even if I gotta go by myself. That's what I hear you saying, Virgo. And then, you know, you went after your change. You went after, you You say, you know what? I ain't gonna sit around here and keep dreaming about love and romance. I'm gonna go get mine. And you know, I'm gonna focus on my goals and get money. <laughs> That's what I hear from you, Virgo. Focusing on your goals and getting money. And here we are. Look at all of these tens. Man, I mean, this thing is coming down quick. It was like, boom. When I tell you that this was the tower moment, this was the tower moment because this was quick and decisive. You you got, uh, what's the <laughs> what I, I hear? Savage. You got savage on them. Show sure enough savage on them. And look at that judgment card upright. You knew what you wanted, and you you know what you want, and you made the necessary you took the necessary steps to get what you want. You let nothing stand in your way. You say, you know what? I mean, I see beautiful things for you, Virgo. King of Swords, getting out of your head, you, you know, and and making the necessary decisions, going after your joy and happiness, taking those first steps getting rid of anything that doesn't align with your beautiful sunshiny day um the judgment judgment card hey this <laughs> the decision you made is going to lead to your ultimate happiness you are um you are it's, it's divine you are protected you know where you're going it's you're you're living in your purpose right now virgo that's what i'm feeling you're living in your purpose right now you know who you are you know what you want you know what you want to do and where you want to go. And it's just that point. Let none stand in my way because I will pile drive you. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm hearing, bro. That's what I'm hearing. Oh. All right. Let's see what Virgo has going on. Now, ow. That's your advice card. We're going to get to that in a moment. I couldn't help it. I just had to see what was coming up next. Okay, so we're going to pop on back over to this other person. Whoever this person is that lives with that destructive, spontaneous, wild, scorpion energy. This person who was allowing things to happen to them instead of making the decisions for themselves. 
It's like, okay, you've gone on your spirit quest. Now, now what are the answers that you came up with, my lovely? Because you still failed to make the necessary, to, to take the next necessary action, to make a decision. But that's okay. Virgo made it for you because Virgo not playing with you. <sighs> mm. And you, you're such a doubtful mind. Oh, this person is such a doubtful mind. Am I making the right decision? I'm not sure. Let me go talk to this person. That may, may, well, maybe I should listen to what that person told me. Um, you know, oh, well, my daddy always said, <laughs> my daddy always said, that's what I'm hearing. My daddy always told me, he always, honey, I don't know if your daddy gave you good advice or bad advice, but uh, your, your daddy's advice should have made you a man of action, okay? Um, and you know, this is this is divine, divine masculine, divine feminine, you know, him, her, whatever. But the point is, should have made you a man or a woman of action, okay? And you're not you're not behaving like a man or a woman of action over here, whoever you are. This this scorpion energy okay it's just not you're not behaving like a man or a woman of, of, of action you're behaving like ugh, like like you have no idea who you are or where you're going you you you're not in alignment with your purpose you're allowing things to happen to you instead of you taking control of your existence whoever you are cross watcher Peekaboo, I see you. Checking on Virgo's reading. And so because you failed to make this decision, because you're so hesitant, you lost out. Meanwhile, Virgo has moved on. Virgo is happy. Virgo is living their best life because they're walking in purpose right now. And they're embracing this life as though it was their first time walking. it. It's a beautiful new day for them. With the joy of of a, a new child like walking outside for the first time the sun is shining brightly <laughs> it's like oh the flowers oh the the grass the trees oh everything is so beautiful what a beautiful new day virgo's over here feeling all resurrected and over here you walk in the trail of tears you well, you know, you you trying to you trying to break out of it now. You're trying to, but oh, you just you just been stuck for too long. I think I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, what that? Can we get some advice from Cross Watcher before I even go into the advice for Virgo? Ooh, advice for the Cross Watcher. Advice. Get up. Be a power. Don't let things in you, you in them. First of all, everything is not even that bad. If it's that bad, like go heal then, if it's that bad. Oh, you're killing my vibe. What is really going on with you? Oh, you're just stuck, stagnant. You just can't figure out, honey, you can't be over here killing Virgo's vibe. You can't do that. You just can't. You can't be over here killing Virgo's vibe. Virgo's got things going on. Virgo's figuring out what we have here. The six. The six. Look at that. Virgo is is <laughs> has found their soul family. While you were trying to figure out which way you wanted to go, my cross watcher, Virgo over here. Yes, you Virgo. You were doing your thing. You were figuring out what matters most to you. That's what you were doing. You For a little while, you were hesitant. You were in your mind. You didn't know which way you wanted to go. You couldn't figure it out. But you stepped outside of that sit in, in place energy. And you said, I'm going to do something about it because I'm not happy like this. I mean, the world is such a beautiful place. Why should I sit back and be so, ugh, I could be happy. And you said, I'm taking this, I'm taking, I'm taking my, my soul, my joy back. I believe in the beauty and happiness and all good things in the world happening to me. And I am about to step into my abundance. I'm about to, 
to to take big steps and be like i was stuck before i know what it's like now i don't want to be stuck anymore i'm going to move in the direction of things that i've been waiting on doing for the longest of time while i've been stuck in this energy you were stuck and i was stuck in your energy all off out of my frequency watching the beautiful things for me pass me by because you was all sorrowful and just soppy and no no more so we we're gonna we're gonna sever our ties go whichever direction that we need to go in because i gotta do what i gotta do for me and virgo found happiness because of this and realized that that judgment was perfect judgment virgo was able to come together with like-minded individuals individuals who can reciprocate the kind of love that virgo has to offer i give you give we meet in the middle Virgo got tired of singing that old song. Tell me who I have to be. Virgo got that reciprocity. And the Three of Swords. Ugh. Virgo made the necessary sacrifice. Virgo said, I'm not living in the space of being lost and confused and not knowing which way to go. I'm not living in that, that sorry, sappy energy. That's not where I want to be. And Virgo decided to get their thing together, okay? Um, Virgo just made the split. Matter of fact, Virgo was advised from here on. You know what? It's okay to walk away. I hear it's okay to start over, Virgo. You held on for as long as you could. It's okay to walk away. It's okay to start over. Because you felt trapped. You felt trapped. You would you 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 couldn't speak your truth. You were so uh, stuck, Virgo. Ah, beautiful time. Be beautiful. But you your decision to let go. That that final judgment and decision to say, hey, that's it. I want what's mine and I'm not settling for anything less has brought you into a world of joy. He said, I'm letting go. It was the best decision that you made. It was the best thing that you could have done for yourself. It was time to move on and you did that, Virgo. So here you are. This 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 clown over here, still stuck, feeling sorry and sappy because they wish that they could be as bold as you. They wish that they could take major steps like you, major moves like you, but they still letting folk boss them around. And so all they can do is watch you go and cry while they stay sitting right there. They're watching the end of everything that they love because they can't do like you. They can't walk like you, Virgo. They can't make those necessary cuts. They still fearful of making the necessary changes. Still unable to make strong decisions on, if, on their own behalf. Still letting other people tell them what they think they should be doing. Taking too many outside forces, opinions into account. Grow up, baby. That's what you being told, cross watcher. Grow up. Sitting over there looking all sad and sappy. I can't. I just can't. Let me get this sad stuff off my table. Get this sad stuff off my table. That's what's going on in the life of our single Virgos. They they moved on and decided to, to grab their happiness and go down the path of joy and make those necessary cuts and move on. And be strong and move on. Now we're going to go into our couple Virgos. Virgos that are part of a couple. All right, real quick, because that I, I was there a little bit longer than I liked. I was, <laughs> I was getting excited. I'm sorry. You know, this is my first time doing it in this way, but I like it so far. I do. All right, making it clap one more time for our Virgos. This quiet clap with my old soft cards. <laughs> 
see if we can clap them a little louder. All right, Virgo. Coupled Virgos. Coupled Virgos. Hmm. You're just going to take it all the way down. What you're thinking of them, how you see in the situation or so. What you want to do is, is what you're thinking, what you're doing. <laughs> uh oh. All right, Virgo. Couple Virgos. Uh, let, let me just go on over to the cross watch real quick before I get into that. So my couple of Virgos, they're a little confused. They still trying to figure out what it is that they need to do. Trying to find a state of harmony. <sighs> Not entirely certain. Trying to make a just decision, but still unable to see clearly what needs to be done. Ooh, come on. There we go. Virgo's cross cross watcher is um is praying <laughs> hoping and praying that everything is gonna work out that they're gonna get their wish fulfillment that they're they're a bit worried I'm getting that worried energy that oh my gosh what am I gonna do energy couple of Virgos I don't know Virgo you scaring them I feel like you're scaring them <laughs> they are afraid they are worried you got them burning sage around here and they like oh Virgo Virgo done had them demons around them lately my baby been so savage baby we all we okay we good I feel like the couple of Virgos cross watchers are willing to do whatever they need to do. They're afraid. They don't want to make no waves. They don't feel like things are looking very good right now. That's how I feel about my couple of Virgos. Let's bring some clarification into the mix. Uh oh, my cars and got flipped back and forth, back and forth. Oh, Virgo, you got some. Oh, it's just the top one. You got a little. You've been getting a little um moody, mood swingish on them lately. As a result of you feeling trapped, confused about which way you should go. You've been a little snappish. Oh goodness, baby, that's too much. You've been hollering and popping all kind of mess, Virgo. But okay, here I go again with this mirror image thing. Okay, made in the blades. I just look at that as my page of swords. And, um, hmm, 
Well, you're, you're, you, you need some new stimulation. You're ready to do new things, to get started on things that you've been thinking about. You know, you're not... You're ready to, to lay down some new ground and you're going crazy because you're feeling kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, I feel. You know, you've got to choose. I feel like you feel like someone's been holding you back, stagnating you. Someone, something, I don't know. Um, let's see. Trail of tears. We're back at that trail of tears, but up right this time. I think that you're weighing out walking away from someone from something you're saying hey i'm tired of of missing out on that which is for me and i'm ready to set this wheel in, in motion come what may i gotta go after what's right for me i gotta follow my purpose you know it's i've been sitting still for too long i've been stagnant for too long in the same place i'm feeling somewhat emotionally bankrupt that's what i hear emotional bankruptcy that's what i'm hearing i don't know Oof, don't don't drop my cards so let's see let's come over here real quick i'm sorry my nosiness being whatever order oh. <laughs> okay so this one over here, the cross watcher, is 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 praying like you are my joy, my joy, my joy. Oh, I hear him. Cross watcher said, "I can't leave you alone. You got me feeling." That's what that's what the cross watcher said. I can't leave you alone, Virgo. And Virgo, you you about ready. You not ready to end it. That's why you've been so um, moody. Because they're holding on. And you it's kind of like you're trying to shake them off. But you don't want to shake them off. You know, that's your burden. That, why? Because they are a burden. They are weighing you down. And you've come to realize this, I believe. You've come to realize that. Worrying about all this ain't been doing nothing but holding you back. You could be doing so much better. Warrior of Shields, that's my Knight of Coins. And they said, I ain't going nowhere, Virgo. <laughs> Listen here, I ain't going nowhere. But Virgo, you've been kind of silent. You ain't been talking much. As a matter of fact, you've been attitude -y and moody. And when you do say something, you're kind of hollering and snappy. But you ain't saying much to them right now. Oh, they singing that song, that Jodeci. Oh. They ask you, give a dog a bone. Knick knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. <laughs> And they're waiting around to hear so they can know what the, what direction, what do I need to do? What new do I need to do? Because I'm about ready to do anything for Virgo. But they lack the balance that you need, Virgo. They're too new to the game. They don't, they don't know. They're, they're stuck in their old ways, the ways of their youth or something. They listening to other people, listening to too many people. <sighs> They, they're failing miserably. They're failing. And they know they're losing you. They know they're losing you. They, they, they're afraid. You got them afraid, honey. They're your burden. That's why. Your burden. Uh-oh. Get back up there. Okay. Now, the sun dance. Ooh. Okay, that's a number 12 card. Give me a second because I don't remember what the sun, what card the sun dance corresponds to. I know it's the 12. Um, what is that that comes right before the death card? Justice, is it? No, the hangman, duh. Obviously, I see a hanging man right there. Silly. <laughs> okay. 
So the sun dance, and yes, he is hanging. Can you see that nice and clear? He's hanging. The rope is <laughs> he's just dangling. You see his feet up right there? Okay. So this burden's had you just hanging around. This burden is definitely blocking you. Look, the singles, <laughs> well, I see, I see now that you singles are single because you already made your necessary cuts. You did what needed to be done. Okay. And and you turned that 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 cross watches world upside down, but for my, my one still in the union, well, need I say more? Why? Because they are a burden, and you realize this now that you they are nothing but a weight on your shoulders. You have so much growth that you could have going on right now, but instead, you are dealing with the weight of this union. Um, and all you got to do is get going and, and, and it seems that you look okay coming back over here to this cross watcher cross watcher not knowing what to do being all confused not knowing what to do worried to death because they feel like they're losing you um what is that? That is, this is the eight. That was the nine. You're slipping away. You're slipping away. They're holding on to, to you because they're afraid of what life would be like without you. They're afraid. They don't want to close that door. They're so hesitant to close that door. They're like, well, well, maybe we could talk to somebody. Oh, you talking to people, all right? Look, you are you letting people be all up in your business, all up in our business. And I'm tired. I'm tired, says Virgo. Like, go on, walk on, walk on by, walk on by. Um, the world. Oh, look at that. Oh, but you're my everything. They say to you, you're my everything. You're my sun, moon, and stars. My north, south, east, and west. Can't, can't we try again? Can't we work on this? Can't we, uh, I don't know, like, come on, Virgo. And like if, if if we try just a little bit harder, I know we can make it. <laughs> What's Virgo's advice? Virgo's advice. Ooh. Mm, I'm feeling like that advice is cut off that communication. That's your advice. Just just continue to be silent. Let it go. Because, I don't know, like, to me, what I see is there's, there's no more here. There's nothing left to say. That's what I see. Now, look, I get a little clarification. But what I see is there's nothing left to say. That if you cut off that communication, oh, your load just got lighter. The medicine wheel. I think that's the wheel of fortune again, this time in reverse. Uh, excuse me. That's what I see. I see. I see you want you want to change. You want a quick change. You want things. You want that growth that you were looking for. I see. Let it go. That's what I see.
I mean, it's up to you, Virgo. I can't tell you to walk away from nothing, you know. But I'm just saying that uh, we talking about the medicine wheel. Mm, I'm I'm seeing this as you know things that should have come to a conclusion already, and they haven't yet. And I'm seeing this as like, um, what do you call it? Uh, I forget. You know, the, a clock using the shadow of the sun I'm seeing this as times are wasting you're gonna miss that window you're late you're late that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing if you want to move forward you 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 gonna have to learn to stop wasting time you're wasting time that's what I'm seeing here you're wasting your time. you sitting here trying to figure out what you need to do when you already know what you need to do. But you're hesitant. Why are you hesitant? I don't see any reason for you to be hesitant. I mean, maybe you're saying, oh, well, maybe things will get a little bit better. Um... If I if I try a little harder, but but your spirit says you really want to go. The spirit says you weighing out going more than you weighing out staying. You feel that heavy burden. It's not pleasant. Mm. Mm, Virgo. What's the advice for the cross watcher? You know better than I. That's all I can say about this, Virgo. You know better than I. It's your life. It's your world. You can do what you want to do. But, eesh. I don't know. I feel like I should be talking to you in the single part of the reading is what I feel like. Because <laughs> I don't see anything positive and happy going on over here, love. I'm just saying. Now over here, we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. I mean, the Knight of Cups in reverse says to me, well, you know what, before I get to blab, blab, blabbing, let me go on and get your clarification. Why am I seeing the Knight of Cups in reverse? Mm. Matriarch of Vessels. Matriarch of Vessels. That's basically your Queen of Cups. I think if you distance yourself from this cross watcher, uh, the cross watcher, just, just relax. <laughs> just relax. That's what you need to do. You know, that's how I feel. Um, let's see. How can I say this? Over here, I see a little possibility of infidelity. And, to you know, it's like if you want to avoid, you know, you feeling like damn near like you ready to go test the waters. If, if like, uh, this ain't good energy. It's making you want to be bad. It's making you want to be savage. It's making you want to step out there and play around a little bit. You know, that's that's what I feel like is going on. It's this bad energy for you to have a Virgo not be able to do what a Virgo want to do. Virgo going to start doing just any old kind of thing. Virgo, Virgo, you getting imbalanced. You're getting off your... You're not... Yeah, you're getting imbalanced over here is what I see. And over here, this one here is like... Ugh, secrets and lies. Secrets and lies. I don't know. Secrets and lies. I don't know. 
I, I would say this one is saying cross watcher just get real get real you you dreaming you living in the fantasy world a fantasy relationship it doesn't exist and you feeling like if you live in that world, you live in that world long enough, Virgo going to come on in and do what you want. Oh. As a matter of fact, for real, I really feel like this relationship, if you don't let go, you're going to end up seeing the bad side of Virgo. Virgo going to end up stepping out on you. It's a very strong possibility. Or, you know, you end up stepping out on Virgo, but, I, you know, I don't know. It's one of these folks that you over here all chitter-chattering with and whatnot, doing what you ought not be doing. I feel like you going to do wrong, Virgo going to do wrong. Maybe the wrong was already done in the past. I don't know, but you need to let this go. Maybe you just be suspecting Virgo too much or whatever, but you just kind of need to get over it. You need to just chill out. Um, you like mad jealous and you need to let that go. You stifling Virgo. And what's going to happen when you try to choke off a Virgo like that is it's going to bring out the bad side of Virgo is what I'm getting here, crosswatcher. But back to you, Virgo better you walk away from this situation than that you stay in it and be doing some crap that's gonna bring you some bad karma you feel me eh, you know feel me feel me or don't it's your world you got you got um free will baby i think i've been here long enough i don't think we got time to go into um finances or anything right now but i will say that I think that there's some some behaviors or some things that you need to step away from so that you can um, start some new patterns, new habits and whatnot. We're going to definitely, though, I can't let you go out of here without me at the very least bringing you an oracle card, okay? So, without further ado, I want to introduce you to my new dreamscape oracle cards hello my beauty dreamscape oracle cards that comes with its very own little pretty little dreamscape oracle book i love it look at that big beautiful elephant with the trunk raised yes abundant anyway by matt hughes look at that so let you see the back real quick isn't that beautiful beautiful big gorgeous moon with dragonflies all over i love it so dreamscape oracle cards Give you one of these dreamscape oracle cards. Ooh. You guys, I'm gonna get better at this style reading real soon. Let me get better. So just something I was trying out for you guys. Oh, hello, the shadow. Weird. The shadow. All right, Shadow. What's my little book say about the shadow? Hmm. 31. You're definitely growing and learning and building a new you, a new reality for you. It's been difficult, a long time coming, yet it is coming. the shadow card gaia this shows gaia pulling the veil of the universe high into the heavens to reveal the line of moons spinning down the milky way from dark to full and back again her action turns around giving us the time to delineate between the waking moments and the dreamlike states that murmur into our ears the shadow phase of the moon provides us with the perspective to see clearly Use this time to discern reality from imagination. Imagination from reality, yes. So you get to see the truth now, darling. Things become clear. When the planet is in its shadow phase, it is a powerful magical time that allows us to see. 
It is an honor to gain access to the dreams of the universe. Use this time wisely. Ooh, Virgo, you're going to get some truths in your dreams during the sleeping hour. You better drink plenty of water, Virgo. I know sometimes you don't like to do that. You like all your soft drinks and stuff, but it's water time. Water before you go to sleep. You wake up in the middle of the night, more water. You wake up again, well, hell, more water. You know that moon and water, they work very well. The moon mm, has great influence over the tides, doesn't it? Beautiful relationship with water. And thus it also has with the water that is within us. Okay, so open yourself up and allow these messages to come through for you do not miss this opportunity follow your dreams allow the childlike magic to flow into your life and it's funny that it says that because right now we're in a um a gemini north node transit and in this gemini north node transit we are supposed to yes seek out information and knowledge and all that good stuff but to do it with the eyes of a child so that things we're seeing things not based on what we've already been told but from what we are seeing fresh right now for our own selves the 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 truest of truths not what someone else told us or what has been said for some time or what people believe or what's been written but through experience right now through experience we learned that the stove is hot <laughs> not because someone said you gonna burn yourself if you touch that stove well how do you know until you actually touch it through experience <laughs> yes we're experiencing things for ourselves okay we're getting up and taking those steps we're crawling off the edge of the bed to get closer to the floor yes this fall is going to teach us how to do it properly next time we're going to turn sideways we'll probably still fall because we just didn't know how close we could get to the edge before we turn sideways the time after that we'll get down feet first every step we're learning and, and we're happy while we're learning and we're not afraid to make errors because we know that in the end everything is going to work out for our greatest good man do not be afraid of the shadow for it is only the dark side and in the dark side is the light of truth i love you guys so much thank you so much for joining me today um please don't forget to like share com like comment subscribe definitely subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when your next reading comes out you'll be notified immediately um, share this message for someone who needs to hear it. Okay. Um, thank you so much once again for joining me. I love you, my Virgos. You have a wonderful evening. And until we meet again.